Aro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise and take a call in the third reading of the Prisoners and Victims Claims Continuation and Reform Amendment Bill. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the previous speaker talked about a, uh, a government that was more comprehensive. I can't think of a government that's more comprehensive that's reducing prisoner offending by 25 per cent uh, by 2017. Results so far is an 8.9 per cent reduction in offending by corrections. They've reduced overall crime rates by 15 per cent, violent crime down by 20 per cent, and youth crime by 5 per cent. Results so far, the total crime rate down by 9 per cent, violent crime down by 7 per cent. So I'm not sure when he talks about comprehensive and progressive government uh, that's proving its results. But Mr Speaker, this is about a bill whose purpose is to make the restrictions on awards of compensation and the victims' claim process in the Prisoners and Victims' Claims Act of 2005 to be permanent. Mr Speaker, we are balancing the rights and responsibilities of both the victims and the offenders. We know that incarceration on its own is not enough to reduce recidivist offending. However, there are some issues that are important here. The Prisoners and Victims Act of 2005 did respond to concerns that offenders shouldn't receive compensation for wrongful treatment. We talk about a court of law, but there's also the public court of opinion. It was quite clear that uh, the Honourable Leanne Dalziel actually spelt it out that this act in 2005, which was supported by the Green Party, was to give confidence to the public that we were responding to the needs and balancing the needs of victims, and that's what this government is doing. Seven submissions that were submitted recommended the bill uh, to the bills, but we've proceeded on, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I finally wanted to say this. The bill confirms the government's commitment to supporting the victims, providing that for any compensation awarded in respect of prisoners and claims for compensation, the claim limitation period is to be suspended when the compensation is paid to the Secretary of Justice. Mr Speaker, um, this, in regards to the other reforms that we are introducing as a government, is a good bill. It's not a bad bill. It's a bill that introduces and addresses some issues. It had a sunset clause, which now has come to its end. We're now making this permanent to give confidence to our communities of need. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Dennis O'Rourke. Thank you, Mr Speaker.